Let's go over a deleted scene for Star Wars The Last Jedi that involves Kylo Ren. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, The Last Jedi Blu-ray Edition will be hitting stores on March 28th, giving us over 20 minutes worth of deleted scenes, while some will carry over to the Blu-ray, while others will remain over in studio, quite possibly never seeing the light of day. Honestly, I hope that we do get to see some of those deleted scenes in the future, perhaps with a bundle version of The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and Episode 9 come 2020. But looking at Star Wars The Last Jedi, there is supposed to be a deleted scene involving Kylo Ren. Whether or not this will be on the Blu-ray is a question open on the table for discussion, but it involves Kylo Ren's chambers. Now, in case you guys have no idea what Kylo Ren's chambers are, it's on board of the Supremacy ship. It's a location in which he meditates and for the deleted scene it was supposed to give us a closer look at his belongings taken after the fall of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy. Kylo claimed the objects for himself to remind him of his victory, very much similar to what J.J. Abrams did in The Force Awakens with the helmet slamming into the ashes. Those were all the ashes of his victims. Now the character was set to have a meditation session in the film in his chambers which was ultimately scrapped and I can kind of see why they may have deleted this because it would have taken up a lot of time for sure if they wanted to explore a lot of this. But, however, I would have actually liked to see this in the final cut of the movie if they respectfully took other pieces of the film out to make it up for that. Now, we got something similar in The Force Awakens in which he's talking to Darth Vader's melted helmet. That could be another reason as to why they cut this out because maybe... They didn't want it to be a little bit too repetitive with that aspect of Kylo Ren, so they kind of just took that out of the film and took the whole entire concept away. However, it really does make one wonder. Speaking about Darth Vader's melted helmet, where did he get this from? Like, exactly how did he reclaim it? Did he get it on Endor? Did he get it from a black market? We really don't know. There's been talk that the Acolytes of the Beyond went over to Endor and claimed the melted Darth Vader helmet and, uh, you know, other pieces of his belongings, and that's how it got to Kylo Ren eventually. But there's a lot of mystery to that whole entire thing, and I know that many months ago, there were a lot of stories suggesting that you know, Tatooine, Mustafar, Endor would return in the sequel trilogy, and if Endor is to return in any way, shape, or form, I think it would serve as a great flashback to show exactly how he got Vader's melted helmet. Now, is there a huge purpose to doing that in Episode 9? Not quite sure as far as the storyline goes, but we'll have to wait and see. But overall, guys, I would have really loved to see that scene involving Kylo Ren in his chambers on board of Snoke's supremacy, getting a closer look at his belongings that he took after the fall of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy and that meditation session. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.